Hey everyone! Welcome to your travel buddy. Today we're going over the 10 things to do in Venice. Make sure to watch till number one because it's one of the most amazing places I've ever seen. If you're looking for an ultimate travel guide for your next trip to Venice, look no further. This video will give you an insider's look at the best things to do in the city. From exploring the canals to visiting St. Mark's Basilica, there's no shortage of things to do in Venice. And with this list of 10 things, you're sure to make the most of your trip. 10. Visit the Grand Canal If you're visiting Venice, a trip down the Grand Canal is a must. This iconic waterway is lined with grandiose palaces and churches and is a great way to get a feel for the city. You can take a public water bus, a vaporetto, or private gondola down the canal or simply walk along the waterfront. Whichever way you choose to do it, be sure to take in the sights and sounds of this amazing place. A visit to the canal is a must to do while in Venice. There are a few ways to see the canal. One way is to take a ride on a gondola. This is a traditional Venetian experience and something that you can only do in Venice. Another way to see the canal is from one of the many bridges that cross it. The Rialto Bridge and the Accademia Bridge are two of the most popular bridges to view the canal from. Finally, you can take a boat tour of the Grand Canal. This is a great way to see all of the sites along the canal, including some of Venice's most famous buildings and churches. 9. Take a Gondola Ride A gondola ride is one of the most iconic experiences in Venice. These traditional Italian boats have been used for centuries to navigate the canals of Venice. And today, they are a popular tourist activity. A gondola ride is a great way to see the city from a different perspective and enjoy the scenery. There are many gondola operators in Venice, so be sure to shop around for the best deal. There's nothing quite like gliding down the canals of Venice in a gondola, taking in the sights and sounds of this unique city. Gondola rides can be booked through many different companies and prices vary depending on the length of the ride and other factors. Generally speaking, a gondola ride will cost around 80 euros for a half hour ride or 120 euros for a full hour. While there are many different ways to explore Venice, a gondola ride is definitely one of the most magical. So why not add it to your list of things to do in Venice? Eight. Visit St. Mark's Basilica St. Mark's Basilica is one of the most popular tourist attractions in Venice, and for good reason. The magnificent church is a masterpiece of Byzantine architecture, and its interior is decorated with beautiful mosaics. Visitors can explore the basilica at their own pace or take a guided tour. Tours are available in English, Italian, and French, and last approximately 45 minutes. St. Mark's Basilica is one of the top tourist attractions in Venice, and for good reason. This beautiful church is home to some of the most incredible art and architecture in the city. When you visit St. Mark's Basilica, be sure to make some time to admire the exterior of the building. The ornate facade is truly a sight to behold. Then head inside to see the stunning mosaics and adorn the walls and ceilings. You'll also want to check out Pala di Oro, a golden altarpiece that is absolutely breathtaking. Spending some time at St. Mark's Basilica is a must-do when visiting Venice. Trust us, you won't be disappointed. 7. Tour the Doge Palace The Doge Palace is one of the most iconic buildings in Venice, and a visit to this magnificent palace is a must-do when in the city. The palace was the home of the Dojas of Venice for centuries and it is now one of the top tourist attractions in the city. A tour of the Doge's Palace will take you through some of the most beautifully decorated rooms in Venice, as well as giving you an insight into the fascinating history of this incredible building. The Doge's Palace is a Venetian Gothic-style palace that is a major landmark in the northern Italian city of Venice. The palace was an abode of the Doge of Venice, the former Republic of Venice's supreme authority. It was built in 1340 and extended and modified in the following centuries. You'll also get to see some of Venice's most famous artworks, including paintings by Titian and Tintoretto. 6. 
see the Bridge of Sighs. When in Venice, be sure to check out the Bridge of Sighs. This bridge is one of the most iconic landmarks in the city, and for a good reason. The Bridge of Sighs was built in the 17th century and spans across the Rio di Palazzo. It gets its name from the fact that it was once used as a passageway for prisoners on their way to jail. These days, it's a popular spot for tourists to snap photos and take in the sights of Venice. Don't be disappointed if you are a hopeless romantic like me. After all, there is a romantic legend associated with the Bridge of Sighs. If lovers kiss under the Bridge of Sighs at sunset, while sitting in a Venetian gondola and the bells of the Basilica di San Marco ring, they will be granted eternal love and happiness. You should be aware that this is not an easy task because San Marco's bells do not ring every hour like most other European church bells. Finding eternal love and happiness, on the other hand, requires effort. But I digress. Most importantly, many couples will enjoy a smooch in a gondola as their gondoliers gently glide them along. That's perfect. 5. Shop in the Rialto Markets The Rialto Markets are one of the most popular tourist attractions in Venice. They are located in the Rialto district, which is a traditional commercial center of the city. The markets are divided into two main sections, the fish market and the fruit and vegetable market. The fish market is open every day except Sunday from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. You can find a wide variety of fresh seafood here, including many kinds of fish that are not commonly found in supermarkets. The fruit and vegetable market is open every day except Sunday from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. In addition to fresh produce, you can also find meat, cheese, and other grocery items here. If you're looking for a souvenir or a unique gift, the Rialto markets are a great place to shop. You can find a wide variety of items for sale, including Venetian glassware, jewelry, and clothing. 4. Take a boat ride to Murano Venice is a city best explored by boat, and a ride to Murano is a must. The island is a home to some of the world's finest glassmakers, and a visit to one of the factories is a fascinating experience. You can also see the glass blowers in action at the many shops and galleries on the island. Murano is well known for its exquisite blown glass. Murano glass is both beautiful and pricey because Murano's past and present are inextricably linked with glass. In order to appreciate Murano, you must first understand its history and how it evolved into the world's glass blowing capital. 3. Visit Murano. Burano is a small island in the Venetian Lagoon, known for its brightly colored houses and lace making. It's a popular day trip from Venice and can be reached by boat from Fondamonte Nove or Murano. While Burano is undoubtedly pretty, it can be quite touristy and crowded, especially in peak season. Our top tip is to visit early in the morning or later in the afternoon to avoid the worst of the crowds. Once you've arrived, Wander around the island admiring the pastel-colored houses before stopping for a refreshing gelato. If you're feeling energetic, you can walk around the perimeter of the island. It only takes about an hour. Make sure to pop into one of Burano's lace shops. The island is famous for its handmade lace work. You can even watch the artisans at work in some of the shops. And if you're looking for a souvenir, how about a colorful Murano glass necklace or earrings? 2 and 1. Get lost in the Carnarejo district. Visit the Jewish ghetto, an area of the city that is significant historically, to truly experience the heart of the Carnarejo neighborhood. Visit the synagogues and the Jewish Museum of Venice before stopping at Forno Volpe, our favorite bakery for a sweet treat. Test out some of their kosher and rabbi-approved traditional Jewish delights. You'll undoubtedly get lost in Venice as a whole, but especially in Carnarejo's Labyrinth. However, there isn't a finer location to unwind away from the crowds and enjoy the leisurely pace of life. Visit the Church of Madonna dell'Orto, a stunning building where St. Christopher is honored. Beautiful works by local artist Bellini and Tintoretto are concealed inside. When in Venice, be sure to explore the Carnarejo district. 
This historic neighborhood is home to many of the city's most important landmarks, including the Palazzo Ducale and the Rialto Bridge. Stroll through the narrow streets and get lost in the beauty of this UNESCO World Heritage Site. While in the Carnarejo district, be sure to visit the following attractions. The Palazzo Ducale. This grand palace was once the home of the Doge of Venice and is now one of the city's most popular tourist destinations. Be sure to explore the state apartments, which are filled with artwork and tapestries, and take a tour of Doge Palace Museum. The Rialto Bridge. The Rialto Bridge, the oldest bridge over the canal and a celebrated example of Renaissance architecture and engineering, was constructed in the latter years of the 16th century. Following a citywide design competition, it was created and constructed by Antonio de Ponte and his nephew Antonio Contino. This iconic bridge spans Venice's Grand Canal and is one of the city's most recognizable landmarks. Take a walk across the bridge and enjoy views of both sides of Venice. The Carnareggio Canal The Ghetto Vecchio, or Jewish Quarter, is arguably Carnareggio's most well-known neighborhood. The Levantine Jews received the old copper foundry's property in 1541, giving rise to the Monikir Ghetto Vecchio. Jews had previously been forced to dwell in a separate section of the city. The finest spot to stay in Venice on a tight budget is Carnareggio. It encompasses a large portion of the city's northern region, extending from San Marco to the Grand Canal and the Lagoon. A portion of this region is close to the Piziale Roma, therefore it has an excellent transportation options and is simple to reach and navigate from. This canal runs from the heart of Venice's Carnieggio district. Take a gondola ride down this picturesque waterway and enjoy views of some of Venice's most historic buildings. The Jewish Ghetto This historic neighborhood was once home to Venice's largest Jewish community. The term ghetto was first used in Venice in 1516. It was likely derived from an iron factory in the area. During that year, a Jewish settlement area was designated, isolated from the rest of the city and giving Christian watchmen. The ghettos in Italy adopted it as their model. Today, it is home to several synagogues and museums, as well as restaurants serving traditional Jewish cuisine. Venice is a romantic city, an absolutely beautiful destination that has something for everyone. Whether you're interested in art or history, or just want to wander the canals, there's plenty to do. There you have it. We hope this travel guide has inspired you to visit this unique and beautiful city. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss more incredible tips and travel inspirations. Make sure to check out other videos about Italy. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.